یاد ای تخنه زهنی نشله آره تو رو کنجه باشش چین نه نه مای دیش کیسی داشت چه آره نه نه اشت ازی تاچی نی داشت نله شوان ای ناد ازیو دیت ناشا شما ای برث بگه ولیا آره تو ولیا نت ای آره شجاع ای امری اشلی ولیا آره Science, technology, and society. For English, Ado, Stanford University. The English top. could, I could ego it in the Um, my name's Corey Ashley. I'm from Sanders, Arizona, and I'm a science, technology, and society major at Stanford University. I don't know, when I hear Navajo, it's, it's different to me. It's, it carries so much more meaning. And especially with those like loving terms, you know, shiaj and, you know, ayo ni nishne and ashne, you know, you just feel the, you feel the language. I don't know how to explain it, you just feel it. Like, I don't feel English this way. You know, when the family gets together, you hear the old folks, that like speak fluent Navajo, joking with each other in Navajo, and like, oh, what are they talking about? And they're just like, I can't really explain it to you in English. You know, coming from a community where like everybody's Navajo, and then being sh shot into a context where you're the only one a lot of the times. And I don't know. I think it took me a while to internalize that and what that means, because I feel like back home you aren't conscious of it. You know, you just did things. You could be joking around, going to school and all these things. Back home, you didn't really think about like yourself, your identity and all these things because you were just like existing. And just reflecting on my experience as, you know, a 22 year old Navajo person that grew up on the res and, you know, reflecting on my experiences in school, I made an app called Dene Adone. And it's a app that takes Navajo clans, which is a system, a traditional system Navajo people use to express kinship, kinship to each other. So each Navajo person individually has four clans. And when, they're, when they introduce themselves to one another, they're supposed to say that these clans before their names. So this is like one of the like things that connects us together as, you know, Navajo people. So I was already interested in apps beforehand, but like I didn't have the computer science skills, but I knew how, how it worked because I come directly from that experience. It started from like learning, listening to the Navajo teacher talking about, okay, this is an important ideology for the Diné culture and this is what you need to know as well as learning the language, you know, these two things aren't separate. The culture and the language aren't separate. Being native comes with all these things that make you who you are, and part of those things are, a lot of those things are problematic. Back home, there's so much trauma and so much um, conditioning that went on that like people back home don't know how to communicate to each other. And particularly when you're forcibly removed, and in the case of the Navajo, literally quarantined or interned, 
right? In places that were unhealthy, that were fraught with disease and death and hardship and bad nutrition and all of these kinds of things, that dislocation carries a wound, right? And that it's not centered exclusively in a single time and place. Even though it wasn't a permanent dislocation to Bosque Redondo and the Navajos returned home um, to a, a reservation whose boundaries were, were adjusted clearly, but to quote homelands, um, that wound persists. It persists in your memories. It persists in dislocated families. It persists in, um, in languages that could be lost on occasion. For me, my goal is to create a platform for my community to like do tech work in the sense of like intersecting Diné identity with tech technology, and that could be a lot of things, you know. And this would be a good opportunity to you know create a space for Native people in tech and create new jobs and all these, all these things, you know. And are there politics behind this algorithm? Um, who who is this technology for? Like who who's omitted from the conversation? You know how how are you helping indigenous people? Like that's kind of like my thing. How how can tech help indigenous people? The app I created like is the is the open opening the door to that conversation. And I feel like I want to I want to expand what that app did. You know I want more apps focused on indigenous issues, you know, you could like tell time, and Navajo, everything that, that exists right now on your phone could be um, adapted and critiqued, like through an indigenous lens, you could change your time to an indigenous time on your phone, you could indigenize Google Maps and, you know, figure out what these places were called traditionally, and like you could use all these things to um, revive the culture and language. You have this lens, this indigenous lens that your ancestors sort of like saw the world through and like had a way of living and a way of carrying themselves throughout like their life. When you learn Navajo, you're not supposed to learn it, you're supposed to absorb it, but we, that, you know, times are changing, you know, and new ideologies are taking over. Parents want us to like, succeed in the Western world, go to school, get an education and all this stuff, you know. I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to come to Stanford and explore those things and understand them more, more deeply than I could have, you know, staying home. Once, when we experience, when we step out of our own communities and or go to different institutions, we are changed. But I think there's an understanding now that that's a partnership. It's not, it's not a challenge. It's a partnership where students can not only gain these skills and knowledge but with humility and respect can bring them home in a way that enriches. It's, it's, not, a, it's, it's, it's not an either or, it's, uh, it's a both and. And that I think is a promise of what Native students can bring back. I feel like this major in myself in particular can be a good benefit to my community in ways of like being at Stanford, you know, being in Silicon Valley and Silicon Valley is the heart of tech and you need re representation here and I feel like with that representation you need someone from that community 